Hello everyone and welcome to the final game of the first day of the uh, FTX Crypto Cup knockout. It's Magnus Carlsen versus Hikaru Nakamura. Uh, this is game four. Uh, everyone started by winning uh, with with the white pieces. First Hikaru won with white in game one, then Magnus won with white in game two, and then Hikaru won again with white in game three. And now Magnus, if he doesn't want to go uh, well, being down a point uh, in, in the second day of the uh, of the clash, uh, he has to win this game. Otherwise, uh, well, he's just going to be down uh, down tomorrow. Uh, so that being said, let's check it out and see if if this was at all possible. Uh, Magnus has the white pieces and he opens uh, with e4 yet again. We have e5 by Hikaru, knight to f3, knight to c6, and again Magnus goes for bishop to c4. We have bishop to c5, and now. Uh, Magnus again castles very very risky stuff uh, not going for the uh, Evans Gambit when you need a win uh, knight to f6 and now d3 we have castles by Hikaru and now h3 uh, always a useful move uh, when when playing the Italian we have d5 attacking in the center captures captures and now comes a4 so this uh, position is not a new one uh, Magnus already played it against uh, against Sergei Karakin in the Grand Chester Rapid uh, in Paris in 2017 the game ended in a draw uh, and the Karakin went for f6 here but here here, we have bishop to e6 by Hikaru and now it is uh, already as of move 8 that we have a completely new game. So let's see how Magnus uh, deals with this. He starts with knight to g5, uh, puts pressure on this bishop and of course Hikaru not interested in giving up, giving up uh, bishop for a knight, plays bishop to f5. The, the bishop will be very useful here uh, as it guards the, the h7 square. You can put it to g6 so it's uh, gonna be a very nice... Uh, a defender. Uh, we have queen to f3 now with an attack on the bishop and a double attack on the knight and Hikaru just defends with knight to e7 getting this knight out of the way and defending the bishop on f5. We have c3 now preparing to advance the pawns on the queen side and h6 pushing the knight back. Knight to e4 and here bishop back to d6. So uh, just keeping everything uh, everything closed. Uh, we have b4 by Magnus, a few moves late, but what are you going to do? Uh, and now a6. Uh, we have knight b to d2, continuing development, and now Hikaru doesn't like this bishop uh, on this diagonal, so king to h8, so he can uh, maybe play bishop back, then f5, e4, uh, f4, and who, who knows what might happen. So here, bishop to a3 by Magnus, and now bishop to g6. Uh, as planned, we have knight captures on d6, uh, uh, C captures and now Magnus strikes with uh, with B5. And the problem is you don't really have a good square for this knight. Uh, if you go back, then we just pick up the b7 pawn. So uh, moving the knight, not really an option. Uh, you might move it to a5, which is what Hikaru did. Uh, but uh, yes, now it defends the b7 pawn, but it, the knight is on a very ugly square. Uh, and here, just bishop to b4. Now putting pressure uh, on this, uh, well, on this knight. And while you could capture on c4, then we play knight captures on c4, and then there's a double attack on this, uh, well, d6 pawn. And there's no good way to defend it if you play something like d4. Five, then comes knight captures on e5 and other than that there's really there's really no good move here if you play something like knight to f5 then again you lose the b7 pawn so whatever you play you lose something so instead hikaru went for this captures now the rook defends the knight we have captures here now there's a double attack on the knight uh, and the b6 this is how hikaru preserves preserves material uh, bishop to d5 now attacking the rook here and Magnus not interested in capturing uh, if, if you capture for example knight captures on d5 we're gonna play queen captures and it doesn't get uh, any better for black uh, the the pressure is still uh, very strong here so instead after bishop to d5 we have rook to c8 by Hikaru uh, and now comes c4 just cementing that uh, uh, bishop on d5 also the b5 pawn is now reinforced uh, and Hikaru now continues with his plan uh, with which started when he played king to h8, and that is f5. Uh, we have bishop to e6 now chasing this rook back, and the rook to b8 by Hikaru. Uh, you could bring it all the way to a8, but the rook came from a8 and doesn't really do all that much here we can just play d4 and if captures then uh, a queen f4 and again uh, we put immense pressure to this d6 pawn and that's going to be a huge problem for black so instead after bishop to e6 we have rook to b8 and now comes bishop captures on the a5 uh, b captures and now d4 so here magnus is uh, ready to start uh, advancing those pawns create a pawn storm and uh, well try try and win the game he needs a win like we said to get back into the match and now the thing is uh, here e4 is a very interesting move 
Problem is, after queen to c3, there's a double attack on the a5 pawn, and also you're just preparing to push uh, push a lot of pawns here. Okay, you can never push c5 because then the b5 hangs, uh, but it would be it would be maybe problematic. Maybe we can play d5, try and weaken the, the b5 pawn, then we're going to capture here, and then something like f4. So if Hikaru wants to go really wild, he could go for something like this here with this e4 idea. But he tries to keep everything solid. He plays rook to f6. Uh, he is leading the match, so uh, no reason to take any unnecessary risks. But now Magnus plays d5. Uh, we have bishop to f7, now uh, attacking this very strong piece. Uh, bishop captures rook, captures, and now knight to b3 with a double attack on the pawn here. So rook to a8, defending it, and here uh, Magnus uh, played c5. And this is a very, very strong move. Uh, the situation on the clock is 5 minutes for Magnus and some 7 minutes for Hikaru. Uh, and uh, you need to... Uh, you need to figure out how to go about this. I instead of this c5, you could also try something like uh, just uh, playing rook a2, then bringing the other rook to a1, try and put additional pressure to this pawn. Uh, but Carlsen's idea is also a very interesting one, because Hikaru here plays... Uh, okay, the point is, if you capture here, uh, then just d6 is strong. Uh, the knight is under attack, you cannot capture, the rook on a8 is hanging, and once you move the knight, for example, here, you're going to play knight captures on c5, and now these pawns are just uh, incredibly strong uh, it's very unlikely that black will be able to survive this so instead after this uh, c5 move we have a4 by hikaru now just uh, attacking this uh, knight on b3 uh, but this doesn't work and here magnus plays a most interesting idea uh, and here magnus plays c6 so he offers a knight here but grabbing the knight doesn't really do anything because you just capture uh, here uh, on a8 queen captures and then queen captures on b3 and now magnus wants to uh, will just start advancing those pawns, and it doesn't matter, he's down a piece, at some point Hikaru will have to give the knight back, and uh, Magnus will retain a better position. So instead, after this c6 move, we have queen to b6 by Hikaru, but now comes queen to d3. He defends the b5 pawn, uh, we have rook to b8, now attacking the pawn, uh, but again, this doesn't work. And why doesn't it work? Uh, well, uh, feel free to pause the video here and try to find the winning move for Magnus. Uh, well, I give you a couple of seconds. So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations on finding the only idea that wins, and it's the most basic one. Uh, it is, of course, capturing the pawn on a4, rook captures on a4, so congratulations to everyone who found it. The point is, uh, queen captures on b5 is impossible. This is what Hikaru missed. Uh, problem is, if this is uh, played, then c7 wins the game. Now, you, if you capture the queen, then we capture this uh, with uh, with check, so the, you don't really gain anything. And if you well, best uh, that you have is actually just capturing on, on b3, and then <laughs> we don't even capture. Uh, we play rook to a8, and we still win. Queen captures on d3. We're just gonna capture this with check, bring another queen into the game. Uh, we're still up the exchange, and our position is uh, very much winning. So this is uh, in the position, and Hikaru saw that, of course, he cannot capture the b5 pawn he plays knight to g6 and now comes rook to b4 now magnus just defends his pawn and now uh he can play well he can play pretty much anything knight to f4 here by hikaru trying to create some problems here but magnus doesn't even uh react to this he was he was interested in uh, giving up a piece uh, for all of these pawns, uh, so why not just give up the exchange as well? So rook captures on f4 was played, e captures on f4, and now knight to d4. Now we've removed the defender of the d4 squared, the knight now has an outpost here, b5 pawn is sufficiently defended, and now it's only time uh, to, to, to bring the last rook into the game. So here f3 by Hikaru, but Magnus just ignores him, he says, uh, while that's a very impressive pawn push, you don't really have any pieces uh, to, to be used for the attack. So here rook to c1 and now rook to a7 trying to uh, create some sort of a rook lift or something but just knight to e6 and now what do you play here problem is if you go now after this b5 pawn then we can just simply capture the queen rook captures and go for c7 and that's it there's no defending this uh, if you go rook to a8 of course we will just uh, uh, promote this captures captures with check and after king h7 even rook c7 is here winning this pawn so there's really no counterplay from black here 
So instead, after knight to e6, we have rook to a2 by Hikaru. Now with the threat of queen captures, king to h1 and queen captures and g2 checkmate. Uh, but Magnus, of course, uh, prevents this. And here he just plays, you could capture on f3, but Magnus just plays queen to d4. And it was in this position on move 37 that Hikaru resigned the game. As there is no point in continuing this because, well, uh, if, you, if you move the queen somewhere weird, weird you're getting checkmated. And uh, if you don't, uh, you're just in a, in a terrible position. You, you don't really even have a square for the queen. There is nowhere you, you can play the queen. So best you have is just a trade. But after this, uh, I mean, the, the pawns are simply too strong. The knight again defends this this guy here. And it doesn't matter if you play something like rook to a4, just c7. This is winning. And now after the rook blocks, we can play whatever. Uh, maybe we can even give up the knight. We can play b6, and then if the knight is captured, then b7, and that's it. There, there's no playing this. Rook captures b8 queen, and that's it. Uh, we just uh, we just win the game uh, very, very impressively. So yeah, after queen to d4, uh, Hikaru resigned and Magnus uh, equalizes the match. The match is now 2-2. Uh, both of them won all of their games with the white pieces and lost all of their games with the black pieces. So uh, very, very uh, interesting stuff. Maybe maybe tomorrow will be different. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, uh, great uh, games by all, all, both of them. It seems like white uh, is uh, really improving because at uh, at some point, uh, like maybe last year, everyone was playing super impressively with the black pieces. But now it seems that uh, uh, with the uh, with the uh, neural nets and the engines getting stronger and stronger, uh, the white pieces are you know uh, again uh, producing some uh, brilliant miniatures. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's the game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I would like to thank Dane Scott, Vlad Laru, uh, Devon Aronson, uh, Robert Fulham, and Jacob uh, Wolf for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon. Continuing the coverage of this very nice event, checking up on your wonderful suggestions, and whatever else happens uh, in the chess world. So thank you all. I will see you soon, and have an excellent rest of your day.